Tuesday, December the 22nd of 2020. Good morning and welcome to the local news for today. In the news, Boeing 777 of Suriname Airways carried out its first flight. Police recruits sworn in as junior police officers. ECD cracked down on retailer and as of today, partial lockdown in force. The Boeing 777-200ER of the Surinamese aviation company SLM carried out its first commercial flight from Amsterdam to Paramaribo on Sunday. In consultation with the supervisory board and the acting management of the national carrier, Minister Albert Jubitana of Transport, Communication and Tourism was not present at the Johan Adolf Pengel Airport. This because of the increasing COVID-19 infections. We must also send out the right signal with this success. We need to counter the COVID-19 surges and, more than ever, put our health first, said the minister. He is very pleased that the Boeing 777 is finally certified after more than a year and made its first official passenger flight on the mid-Atlantic route. Let's join forces to gradually turn the SLM back into our trusted wings. This should be proof that Surinamese are also capable of delivering top performance. Minister Yubitana therefore asked to put aside all, ego, all egos it is and put the company interest first. Without responsibility, love, loyalty, respect, dedication, drive, professionalism, Commercial attitude and honesty, we will not succeed, said the minister. In conclusion, he said that team spirit is the precondition for this. And Minister Yubitana wants to make the SLM a success story. You have been through a few nerve-wracking months. Words of Minister Kenneth Amoxi of Justice and Police at the swearing-in of police recruits yesterday as junior police officers. According to the minister, this group of new officers will help contribute in the fight against crime. The swearing-in took place yesterday in a very exceptional way. The group was not dressed in the gray police uniform, but in a blue KPS shirt with jeans. According to the chairman of the police union, Raoul Hellings, this is very regrettable. He has therefore called on the newly sworn officers not to show up at their workplace. According to Hellings, the union will remain on strike until the new officers receive their work permit and their complete police uniform. The Economic Control Service ECD, of the Ministry of Economic Affairs recently taken tough measures against a retailer. During regular checkups, it turned out that the entrepreneur did not have the correct documents. Most of the problems that occur during the ECD operations often have to do with unclear or no price indications on the products. Olivia Speer, head of the ECD, also notes that there are many expired goods on the shelves. The Economic Control Service makes an urgent appeal to society to thoroughly inspect each product before buying it. And as of today, December the 22nd, the partial lockdown applies daily from 7 p.m. until 5 a.m. Minister Amar Ramadin of Health announced this at the press conference yesterday. Due to the growing number of COVID-19 infections in the past period, it has been decided in consultation with the outbreak management team to adjust a few measures, including the curfews. This includes air traffic to and from Suriname. For example, all commercial flights have been stopped and only repatriation flights are carried out. In addition to the returnees, persons with essential professions will also be allowed on the flights. Areas have been identified where most COVID-19 affections are registered, including Paramaribo North and Uitvlucht. Minister Ramadin calls on society to observe the COVID-19 measures as much as possible, and especially to comply with the standard rules regarding hand hygiene. That is it for the local news for today. 
head back tomorrow for a new edition. Bye-bye.